The fact that you are looking at this video lets me know you're sick. Hunt you down, grab your chin and kiss your lips. You bring me back, I lay you down and grab your hips. No, in all seriousness, uh, you are twisted and messed up, but that's okay, we all are because I read this book too. For those of you that don't know, my name is Austin Giorgio. I've never done a book review like this before. I just make music for a living. Uh, I normally don't have to talk like this. Here we are. A little bit of context before we dive in. I released a song called You Put a Spell on Me, if you didn't know, and after posting it online, I had so many comments saying, oh my god, this belongs on Book Talk. I'm like, what the hell is Book Talk? And so I then was like, oh my god, another one of my songs blew up in Book Talk months ago and I forgot about it. Imagine you're at a fancy party and as you walk to the dance floor, someone catches your eye. You're tall. Ten, something in between I'm like okay I need to learn more about this I need to get involved so over and over people were saying oh my god this song reminds me of Zayd also known as Zaddy and um, I was like I need to figure out who this guy is what the books about not only did I read it but this one was an audio book so that had a whole different element to it and I'm sure you could understand why super quick summary it's about a young lady named Adeline, also known as Addie. She's an author, and then her love interest uh, named Zaid. And they, it's a very uncomfortable love story. I wouldn't even know if I'd call it love. Uh, but Zaid stalks her and falls in love with her, tries to get her to fall in love with him. She moves into this mansion that her great-grandmother was murdered in. Her mother doesn't want her to live there, but she feels like connected to this place Emotionally, physically, like spiritually, like weird things happen. Roses start appearing, sees people. Um, and then she starts getting messages, uh, you know, talking about like, I could see you, I miss you, stuff like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. The book pretty much tells the story of this author, Adeline, and her journey in this house trying to solve her great grandmother's murder case. And then Zaid, who is honestly like Batman, like he does his own justice and he kills the bad, like the bad guys. As a guy, I was definitely cheering for my guy Zaid, uh, getting these people. I was getting pumped up, um, but really sad world that he's involved in. Regardless, the book talks about these two if they fall in love or not, and then kind of the journey of her solving the mystery of the murders, and then Zaid doing his job killing these people, and you start to learn about the types of people he's going after. So that's a quick summary. I don't wanna give away any spoilers. Uh, I would say going throughout the book, I was entertained from start to finish. I don't know if this is a common thing in books, but it's like two perspectives. So it'd like be from Zaid's perspective for a couple chapters, and then it'd be Adeline's on um, like sometimes they come together, like on a timeline. Um, again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying I love that. Uh, I will say that I believe it was chapter one definitely threw me off with the like the violent scene. And then chapter 16 was something else. That was different. And uh, I will say this is a book you might not want to read in public. Um, unless you're crazy. And then again, you're reading this book, so you should read this book in public. Uh, yeah, so chapter 16, I remember reading it and thinking like, wow, I wonder if this is gonna go down the way I'm thinking this is about to go down. And uh, it did. And it is crazy because I don't read books like this. Now I do. Uh, but the amount of detail is crazy. Like. This book belongs, I mean, this book kind of has its own section in like the adult store stops on the highway. Um, I've never been to one of those, but you know, they always say like the lion's den or, okay, I probably shouldn't get that specific. Um, <laughs> I swear to God, I just see them all the time. I'm always on the road. Anyways, so the book was entertaining from start to finish. The ending, there was, like my chest was pumping. I would like lift to this audio book uh, because it was that entertaining uh, and the ending definitely was a massive cliffhanger, which is why I'm gonna be reading Hunting Adeline. Also, can we just shout out HD Carlton for what a piece of art this is and a masterpiece. 
I'm also gonna be trying to look into her other book. Uh, Does it hurt? I believe that's his name. I could be wrong. I'll put the correction if it's incorrect. So I will say this as a final thought on the book. Uh, if you are someone that has not had the best experiences actively in the bedroom, this might you might want to look more into it in all seriousness. I don't know uh, if this would be triggering or I don't know, bad, bad thoughts. Uh, it's definitely graphic. It's very dark. Um, other than that, I'd say the only thing is it is definitely for a mature audience. I loved it. I would read it again. I don't know if I'm going to do the audiobook for the second one or just read it. Uh, the only reason why I did the audio for the first one is I couldn't buy it. I went into Books A Million, got this gift card, which I'm going to do a giveaway for, and they didn't have the book. So I was like, eh, well, I'm going to play a show in Florida. i got to drive 10 hours. I'll just get the book on audio. So if I had to rate this book on a scale from 7 to 37, no half points. Hmm. It'd be a 37. And on top of that, I recently reached out to H.G. Carlton. I was like, hey, I just want you to know I love your book. I had so many people recommend your book because they correlated my song with the plot. And uh, I would love to involve you in a giveaway of some sort. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways for book gift cards, my merch that says you put a spell on me, as well as some signed books from the one and only. So not myself, H.G. Carlton, obviously. Um, that's it. I highly recommend it. Definitely read it. Go pick up a copy. Uh, let me know some recommendations down below because I have been kidnapped into this cult. Might as well embrace it. So stay close. I have so much music coming out that I think you are going to love, especially because you are in this world of book talk. And uh, that's it. I hope to see you at a show. Either way, drop some comments below and I will see you soon. All right. Bye. Have your chin and kiss your lips, and you bring me back. I lay you down.